Stop! In the name of the Queen and those little brown paper squares she kinda has her face slapped on or something. <laughs> yep, that's me. You're uh, probably wondering how I got into the situation, but uh, you wouldn't believe me if I... <laughs> Hey guys, look what I found. Did you? Uh, steal it from the Steam Reserve Corps? No. <sighs> I'm on it. I say, stealing from the military? Whatever next, Max? Will you start visiting brothels? It's only for a little while. What the bloody hell are you expecting to do with a 12-inch railway howitzer? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Stop running away, dammit! I will do absolutely nothing with this hugely destructive, I mean completely safe, piece of equipment. Well, I say, this seems jolly fishy to me. Oh, Flanders, look, over there! What? Where? Over there, look! What am I supposed to be looking at, Matthew? A distraction! Blast! Where has that oversized taffy tank gone? I have absolutely no idea. La 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 la, I am doing absolutely nothing. Oh shit, it's the Rosses. <coughs> Good morning, officers. What a lovely day for hauling a highly dangerous web- I mean completely harmless piece of machinery. What was that? I've got to go, bye! Do you get a funny feeling about that, dude? No, I don't, Reginald, and I know I'm gay, but you don't have to spring every engine we pass upon me to comment on. No... Not like that. He seemed... suspicious. I thought that too until he said completely harmless piece of machinery. Learn to listen, Reginald. You guys can come out now. The RMP have gone. Are you sure? Uh, probably. Wait, what? Nothing. Anyways, thanks for being a distraction, Ryan. Couldn't have done it without you. Those guys at the Steam Reserve Corps aren't exactly a pushover. Wait until Major Cross finds out. Ah, uh, we'll get our resident American to deal with him. <laughs> no way. I'm only stuck with you guys because I can't remember my way back to Longmore. Curse that dodgy package vacation! Oh, come on, Lima. You know you love us guys, really. 
<laughs> if you say so. Anyway, I'm off. I uh, need a rest after all this stupid running around. Don't take too long. Remember, you have my goods train to take later on. Why can't you take it, Max? Oh, I want to take it. I'm willing to take it, absolutely. But, I've got my new toy. Besides, you always do my work. I'm a bloody 4MT, Max! You are? Huh, that's strange. I have absolutely no idea how I made it into the heavy freight pool, but management don't seem to be in a rush to rectify the mistake. <gasps> so I'm stuck here with you. Somehow pretending I'm a bloody heavy freight locomotive. You know, I thought it was strange that such a tiny engine was hauling our large loads. Nah, manages, doesn't he? Yeah, but... Hmm, yeah, fair point. Guys? There's untapped potential here. I know, right? Matt and I have used him to take our trains for months. Guys, can we not? Yeah, why not? Anyway, I'm off to play with my new toy. See you guys later. If you think for one minute that I'll be taking your train, you've got another thing come- And they're gone. Bastards. Maxwell! What exactly do you plan to do with this contraption? Well, I thought it would brighten up our shed a little bit. Literally. What the blazes do you think you're doing? I've always wanted to be an interior designer. Now I have just the tool for the job. Maxwell, not every building can be improved by blowing up certain walls. Sorry, what? Couldn't hear you over the sound of my superior interior design skills. Oh, I give up with you. I'm going to Newton. It's much quieter there. Ryan, my good engine. Finally, someone say, hang on a minute, Max! What is it? Isn't this your train? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, well... You, you see, about that. You better have a good explanation for this. Is there a problem? Yes, there's a rather large problem I think you'll find. You can say that again. Maxwell, will you cut that out? Sorry, you've been saying? I'm a bloody 4MT! <laughs> yes, what he said. I'm pursuing my childhood dream of becoming an interior designer. Uh, look here, young man. Back in my day, engines did as they were told and did their jobs without fail. Poor Ryan isn't built for this kind of work. Yeah, but I really, really can't be bothered. I just want to bunk off work like you seem to do. Ah, yes. Fair enough. Bye-bye, Ryan. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, fucking, uh, fuck you all. No, no, I'm not a heavy freight locomotive. Uh, I suppose it's also bad around here. What was I saying before Ryan came in? You were saying something about running away and never return. Maybe. Ah yes, that was it. Newton. Toodle pip. Much more my kind of atmosphere. 
No loud bangs, no loud, annoying, heavy freight engines, and, uh, oh bugger, it's you. Afternoon, Flanders. Good afternoon. What brings you down here? Maxwell and Matthew are being rather excitable up at Warborough. What is Max doing with that howitzer? Explosive interior design. Personally, I don't think it will catch on. Explosive what now? Mind you, it reminds me of the Great War. Oh no, not again. During the Great War, my ass was on fire. Whoa, the first war was that bad? No, I mean literally. The war department strapped a howitzer to my bottom and used me to push enemy lines. I guess that gives a new meaning to explosive diarrhea. I suppose some light-hearted vulgarity could be used to describe my rather unfortunate situation, yes. Mind you, those damn Frenchies were rather happy to disclose a rather large amount of vulgarities in our presence. No decorum at all. Oh, come on. You know how the French are. Laughing when the Germans went on holiday, only to find out that Paris was the ultimate destination. But they aren't all that bad. Surely you must have gone on with one of them. <laughs> Bonjour, mon ami. Hey, pardon. Y a-t-il un problème? I fucking hate you. All of you Frenchy lot. You're all smelly, moaning, lazy, unshaven, wine-drinking, onion-eating, snail-eating, frog-eating, cheese-eating, surrender-monkey bastards with shit moustaches. Pardon? Je n'aime pas de français. Yes, that's a no. I don't even understand why we went to help them in the first place. To help fight the good fight against oppression? Stop that! Let the bloody Frenchies get oppressed! It's no coal off my tender! That's just typical you, Flanders. You need to lighten up a little. I like you a lot, but Britannia doesn't rule the waves anymore. When you are quite finished, Lima! I came down here for some peace and quiet, and all you're doing is adding to my already considerable headaches. Headaches? Plural? Fuck. Oh, I'm sorry, Flanders. You better be, young man. I say, I say, how rude! Come back here, laddie, I'm not finished with you yet. Oh, bugger me. Silly yank, I'm not standing around holding couplings with every engine I see singing fucking kumbaya. Oh, uh, hi, Lima. Uh, nothing to, nothing to see here. What? The actual f- It's better you don't ask. I think Max has got a bit carried away with his new toy. I'm not sure what I was to expect when Flanders told me he'd taken up interior design with a 12-inch howitzer. But now I know. The word I'm looking for is carnage. Yeah, you and me both. Um, I'll try and get him over. Oi, Max! You know what would look really great here? A spit- Max! Come here a minute. I hope you have a good reason for bringing me out of my creative zone. Max, why have you completely destroyed our home? I haven't completely destroyed it. Yeah, haha, <laughs> good one. Where are we going to sleep? Outside. I thought you were doing interior design. Right now we don't have an interior of anything for you to design. 
I was going for the minimalist approach. Do you, do you think I overdid it a bit? No kidding. Yeah, Max, um, I get the ethos of what you're trying to promote, but the long and short of it is uh, we, we kind of like some shelter from the elements. That was a long day's work. I can't wait to get into my nice warm shed and... Oh. What the actual shit. Guys, guys, hear me out. I can rebuild the shed complex, but I need one more thing to complete my theme I'm going with. Well, I'm game for anything as long as I get a nice dress under some sort of cover. Excellent! I'm gonna need you, Ryan. I've got a bad feeling about this. Relax, it's easier than this morning's escapades. Right. Come on, it'll only take half an hour. Max and Ryan have got to. Hello, friends. Where did you get that? Did you steal it from the Brigadier? No. Come back here, you thieving little shit. I swear I'm gonna bloody kill you, Max! Oh yeah, I've got to do the French engine lines as well. Oh my god. You know, I thought it was... <laughs> oh, sorry, froggy frog bit there. <laughs> come by, my lord, come by. Oh, I'm not singing come by. Oh, I see. Okay.